Well, what do you know, what do you know, what do you know? Music Man, Stingray Bass, 1979. Worth a lot of money. But the neck's having trouble. As you know, this is just a short video to bring you an update. Because I haven't uh, posted a lot of videos on recently. Because I've been on working on some major projects. Which have taken up my time. Uh, let me show you a few things. Fixie. This nut was sitting up against a block of wood there. That was inside the hole and the, the wood was shorter. The wood was inside. Very hard to difficult to explain. Maybe I'll do a little drawing and show it on the screen. Anyway, when you tighten the nut up, the truss rod nut up, it pulled the truss rod that way which put the pressure on that nut against the wood. But with that nut being so close to the top of the fret, it split the fret wood and started to, it started to, put, started to put pressure on the fret wood. And it, you see the little hole there? It came down as far as that. Okay. So everybody's telling me new neck, new neck, new neck, etc., etc. But what I've done is I've created a little brass thing goes in there. Well, I don't know what you call it. And you see the, four, the far edge is pressed up against the wood. And when that tightens, it tightens against the brass. And that whole piece of wood is keeping that from crushing downwards. Right, that actually worked quite well. But as you probably can tell, it crushed the brass a bit. So I've ordered a little block of titanium and it should be here in the next few days. Now, very hard to describe the, the, what's going on in there, but you see those gaps there? They shouldn't be there because that, that, that nut or that circular piece of metal is pushing down and down and down. So what I'm planning to do is put a strip of brass, tiny strip of brass down there, a tiny strip of brass down there, so that the nut will press against the brass on the two sides. Hopefully there's enough wood in the bottom to keep it straight. But when the bit of titanium comes, I'll make the titanium so that it only touches the nut and not the two strips of brass. And that should give it, actually the titanium will be slightly thicker than that. It'll be three millimeters. This is 1.6. And the three millimeters will come to the very top of the brass, which will give that top of the, the circular piece of metal, which will give that whole thing. But it'll also, because I have enough room at the bottom, if you look at the bottom part, I've made it slightly longer. So it'll come to the top of there. So... I'll bring this back, this piece of wood back to there so that the titanium is three millimeters pressing against an edge of wood there, which should be a lot stronger. And then I'll replace this right down to the fret with a bit of, a bit of re replace this right down to the fret with a bit of maple. And I've already tested this and I've tuned up the guitar and it works fine. It gives you a nice straight neck. I do worry about that's all that was holding the wood. That's all that was holding against the wood. So I'll, I'll, I'll do a little drawing and show you what I mean. Okay. Bigclive.com. Bigclive.com. Tom. It's a, it's a great uh, YouTube channel. Anyway, if I draw a very rough shape of the neck, right? And that's the rough shape of the neck, right? Now, They've made a little hole there to go through to, I don't know how far it goes through, but then that washer sits around that hole and presses against it. And it's, and what's happened is it's pressed, it's too close to the fret, so it started to split the fret up there. So that washer, that nut that they have there is pushing back on the wood. 
So what I'm doing is, as you saw, I'm putting a bit of brass there and a couple of little strips of brass down the sides against the nut to try to hold it in place. But what if, for whatever reason, uh, whether it's uh, too much shaving away of the top or anything out there, the little piece of nut is very close to the top fret and start to split it the whole way down. Excuse my less than accurate. What does that look like? That looks like somebody with a pair of sunglasses, doesn't it? You know, or anyway. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.